In The Sims 4, you can do anything. So I'm choosing to do what I do in real life, I guess. I guess that's the plan. Here's how to get started with The Sims 4 Chickens from Loki Farms. This video is all about The Sims 4 Chickens expansion known as Cottage Living. Obviously, it's the best expansion pack you can buy, so I'm here to tell you all about how to get started with the chickens, as well as chicken clothes, golden chickens, and double chickens. Plus, there's new and cool ways to die, and some other fun features and cheats. Real quick, to get started with the chickens, just get a coop from buy mode, and then start your chicken purchasing journey. From here, you can buy what are known in the scientific community as white hens, brown hens, and black hens. But there's hidden ways to get other hens, the obsidian hens and the golden hens. Now these guys look and behave just a little differently. The devil looking ones attack the grim reaper, but like, repeatedly. I also heard that they kinda set fires everywhere, but I haven't witnessed it yet. These golden hens lay golden eggs. For how to get these golden chickens or devil chickens, check out my uh, my other video coming at some point. Also, these golden chickens do some weird shit. Like, check out this guy doing stuff to my garden. He has like these golden pulses, and every time he does that, it changes whatever item he's pulsing into the perfect status. So that does make gardening a lot easier. So, your roosters will wake you up every morning, just like real life. <laughs> What's unrealistic about this expansion, though, is how quickly Sims can clean a chicken coop. I'm, I'm not buying it. It's also definitely 100% unrealistic how fast you can get your chickens into a coop in this game. It's just a click of a button in a couple minutes. In real life, unfortunately, it's a more of a corralling situation, you know? Come on! Then. But you can install alarms on your coops so that foxes don't run off with your birds. I also think that the evil chickens have something to do with me having less foxes around. But if a fox does come, you can just ask them nicely to, like, leave. You get different colored eggs by feeding your chickens different treats. There's a few ways to get treats. You can buy them from the market-looking place downtown. If you go to the Gnome's Arms bar, you should see those market stalls. Another way to get treats is to trade away your chickens or do the locals some favors. After you feed your bird a treat, you automatically learn that recipe, so then you can make the treats. Colored eggs are good for making even more treats, or just feeding it to llamas in order to change the color of their fur. Or you can sell them. So this expansion does introduce new ways to die. If you'd like to die, this is how you provoke a chicken until it kills you. So the key here is to have it attack you twice in a row. To do this, you just insult your chicken. Any insulted chicken can kill you. It doesn't have to be a double chicken. The chicken seems kind of proud. Another cool feature is that you can dress these fuckers up. To do this, you go to this cottage guy Cottage Guy lives in Henford on Bagley's Bramblewood neighborhood. So go near that area and look for a small cottage with some plants out front. After you greet the creature keeper, you can buy some of his weird clothes. The outfits that he has changes every day, so you can just circle back and then your chickens can have outfits forever. Then your chickens can have outfits for any occasion that a chicken might need an outfit for. And you guessed it, I think this is fucking unrealistic. I've made hats for my chickens, and they do not wear them. <laughs> ah! It won't stay. Oh yeah! Well, 
no. If you want to spend your time doing something other than dying, here's a cool cottage living suggestion. You can register with the Ministry of Labor as a cross-stitching expert. Now, I'm not very good at this, but I'm happy to try. And you can actually get famous from selling your cross stitches if you do it this way. Other than that, I'm just gonna sell my chicken products at a garage sale for some quick cash. You can turn your eggs into jars of mayonnaise and stuff in the kitchen. You can also trade your chickens for money and produce. My sim gets really sad when I do this. In real life, I kind of get sad when I sell my birds too. I get it. So chicken cheats are super straightforward. You just shift and click on your coop. And from there, you can spawn eggs of any color. This includes hatchable obsidian eggs and golden eggs as well. You can use this cheat to clean your coop. This cheat will also allow you to get upgrade parts for installing cool coop stuff. Today's video is brought to you by Nerd Cake Bath and Body Company. We are fucking festive. This is my buddy's company. She's a dear friend of mine. This is her thing. So if you're interested in receiving one of these, I'm just gonna leave some links in the description. Chicken feed, exfoliating body polish. Check it out. That is my chicken. This is the perfect body scrub for any chicken farmer you know. We got Rambo Road Moisturizing Lotion, a Princess Peach Whipped Sugar Scrub, yes! This is a little lip gloss. Alright, I recommend it. Nerd Cake Bath and Body Company. You too can have a body polish with my chicken on it. You got your chickens and you got your stems. Thank you for the products for my video. This is a shout out to you. A message from your favorite backyard chicken channel. Thank you for turning into Low Key Farms. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow my channel if you love peckers. I don't give a cluck. Pigeons aren't real. They are government surveillance drones used to spy on the population. Please subscribe to Mo Poofles for more chicken content.